Welcome to the second video in the Real Evolution FileMaker video series. Today we'll be discussing getting around FileMaker. This video will cover defining a database, the FileMaker relationships window, the script master window, and how to manage accounts. FileMaker solutions revolve around the notion of a database. There are three main ways to create a database. Firstly, using a starter solution. This is by far the easiest method of creating a database. Secondly, importing a database from a file, such as an Excel spreadsheet. And finally, creating an empty database. If you're a first time user of FileMaker, the easiest way to create a database is to use a starter solution. A starter solution is a ready-made template designed to meet the requirements of common business scenarios, such as expense reports, purchase orders, and time billing. In order to create a starter solution, it's first necessary to open FileMaker, select the file menu, and select new database within the file menu. You'll then be presented with the FileMaker quick start window. From here you can choose whether or not you'd like to create an empty database, a database from an existing file, or create a database using a starter solution. First off we'll be looking at creating a database using a starter solution. Select the create a database using a starter solution radio button and you'll be presented with two list boxes containing a variety of starter solutions which may fit your business scenario. The list box on the left contains the categories of starter solutions. If you wish to view all starter solutions, you can simply select all solutions. The list box on the right displays the individual starter solutions. For this example, we'll choose recipes. We'll then select OK and we'll be presented with a dialog asking us to save our starter solution. Give your solution an appropriate name. In this case, we'll be using starter solution example. Select the folder in which you wish to save your starter solution and select save. FileMaker then presents you with the pre-existing starter solution ready for you to use. Another way to create a database is to import the database from an existing file. Some of the formats supported by FileMaker include Excel workbooks, Bento source files, and CSV files. These are common file formats that you may have come across in your other lines of business. Once again, launch the quick start dialog by selecting new database from the file menu, but this time select the create a database from an existing file radio button. You can then choose the format of your existing file. In this case, we'll be using an Excel workbook. Once you're happy with all the settings you've selected, press OK. You'll then be prompted to choose the existing file which you wish to import the FileMaker database from. In this case, we'll be using the aptly named Excel underscore workbook file. Once you're happy with your selection, simply press open and FileMaker will create the database from the existing file. You can browse for the file on your local file system or, alternatively, you can browse for the file on the remote file system. This functionality is beyond the scope of this video, but you should be aware that it exists as it's a convenient way to share and manage files remotely. In this case we'll just be using our local file. So we'll select the file and then press open. You'll then be prompted, depending on the file which you've selected, to fill in a variety of settings about the file. This informs FileMaker about the type of file and the format of the file, which is necessary so that it can appropriately import the data. In this case, our Excel spreadsheet actually had field names on the first row. So we'll hit field names and press OK. FileMaker will then prompt you for the location in which you wish to save your new FileMaker database. In this case, we'll just call it Excel workbook example. Hit save and you're good to go. FileMaker creates a very simple template from the existing file which lets you enter data. The final way to create a database in FileMaker is to create an empty database. Once again, bring up the FileMaker quick start dialog by selecting File New Database. Once you've got the FileMaker quick start dialog up, select Create an Empty Database and hit OK. Again, you'll be prompted to choose a location to save the database. We'll very originally call this empty underscore database and press OK. 
Unlike the other alternatives which presented you with a database immediately ready to use, because this is an empty database, we'll need to define some fields in it. Basically, to assist you in doing this, FileMaker will bring up the Manage Database dialog as soon as the database is created. This dialog allows you to enter fields for your database, and it also allows you to create a variety of tables. FileMaker automatically creates the first table for you, named in accordance with the file name of the database itself, and it will prompt you to create fields in this database. We'll create a couple just for example purposes. We'll call these example field 1. You can also choose the field type in here. The Manage Database dialog will be discussed further in later videos. Press OK to finish managing your database, and FileMaker will bring up a very simple form. We'll discuss how you can alter the layout of this form in a later video when we discuss managing layouts. Another important feature of FileMaker is the Relationships window. In FileMaker, relationships allow you to connect two or more tables. When you create a relationship connecting two or more tables, you will be able to access the information stored in the first table when managing the second table. This is useful as information in relational databases is often split up across multiple tables. In order to access the relationships window in FileMaker, you must have a database open, and then you should select File, the Manage item in the File menu, and Database. You can also access this by using the keyboard shortcut Control or Command Shift D. It's likely that FileMaker will automatically open the Fields tab in the Manage Database dialog. We're currently interested in relationships, so click on the Relationships tab. In order to create a relationship between the Expense Report Primary Table Occurrence and the related table we've just added, you simply drag one field to another field. This will draw a line between the two table occurrences. The box in the middle of the line connecting the two tables indicates the type of relationship you have. Another important aspect of FileMaker is the Script Master. In FileMaker, scripts allow you to automate repetitive tasks. In order to create and manage scripts, select the Manage Scripts item from the Scripts menu. This will bring up a list of all the scripts which are currently associated with the database that you have open. You can add your own custom scripts by pressing the new button in the tools pane down the bottom. You can create your own scripts by selecting items in the left hand side list box and pressing move to add them to your script. Doing this allows you to create complex scripts and interactions with your database without ever having to manually write a single line of code. The final segment of this Getting Started video will focus on managing accounts within your FileMaker database. In order to bring up the Manage Accounts dialog, select the Manage item in the File menu and select Accounts and Privileges. This will bring up a Manage Accounts and Privileges dialog. The first tab in this dialog, the Accounts tab, shows you the accounts which are registered with this database. As you can see from the list view in the Accounts tab on the Sample Expense Report Starter Solution, admins have full access. Now usually when you create a new database there is no password on the admin account, so anyone who opens the database will automatically authenticate as an administrative user and be able to fully access your new database. In order to edit an account, simply click the account you wish to edit and select the Edit button. Another way is to double click the row you wish to edit. For our purposes we're just going to leave everything on the default settings because all we really want to do is ensure that users have to enter a password before accessing this database. We'll select OK and then we'll select OK again. You'll then be asked to enter your full access details and in our case this will be the access details we've just created. So the admin account and the password we've just set. You'll then note that if we close this database and try to open it again, we'll actually be prompted for a username and password before we'll be allowed to access the database. That concludes this video on getting started with FileMaker. We hope you've enjoyed this Real Evolution FileMaker video and we look forward to seeing you again soon.